for the first meeting between Greenville and Union Omaha this season, the 2024 season, to be precise. Mark Schoen, Sir Ross Devonport with you here. Of Omaha. You already mentioned Nangiano stepping in. Zakowski, a little bit more familiar with stepping in the role for Sebastian Velasquez after Velasquez. Well, listen, Mike, when you've scored four plus goals in four of your last five games, you don't want to be changing stuff over too much time. Castillo sticking with. He's back on. Eight full touch for more than a couple of months ago. Now. I think he's missed. A ton of time late, but back in tonight. And what a game to come back to. It's number one versus number two in the standings. It's always been a storyline throughout this season for Greenville. The who is going to be between the sticks for Rick Wright's side. That one played forward for Zakowski, but couldn't quite reach it. Most recent signing, Rodrigo Robles, not available just yet due to some visa problems. Here's Lyon McKinnon. Tries to drag a shot, and it rolls into the hands of Rashid Nuhu. It's Casciato and this entire coaching staff that we'll, we'll, we'll hold on that thought for a moment. Here's Lyon McKinnon. Check that. It's Castro, his shot deflecting and bouncing into the arms of Rashid Nuhu. He said this matchup would be a game that would be played in great spirit. The key to the game is going to be who makes that first mistake, because these are two teams that punish mistakes very effectively. McKinnon bringing it forward. Zikowski tried to play it back. Dolabella goes down and draws the foul in the process. A little softly. I don't want to say what a pressure on his shoulders tonight. Coming over from Phoenix Rising. What a touch that is. Retreating, tapping it back, opportunity played on goal, cleared away by Fricky. Evan, the almost man marking PC and Dolabella, and the ball is in the center of the park. Kunga slips by one defender. Lagos Kunga couldn't get through Rankenberg. I see the scores for all those games at halftime as well, once this half eventually ends. <laughs> Gallardo curls it in. Disappointing. Much like this whole first half, and the referee's seen enough. And so have we here. 55 minutes of football. And you mentioned it's a pretty overlooked part of the job as a coach. So how do we get them excited to come into training every day? You're doing the same old, same old eventually. As this one's given away, and it's a goal! Well, that was the mistake Rick Wright was talking about. And unfortunately, it was for Oliver Harald. Pedro Dolabella, the grateful recipient. A classical finish from Pedro Dolabella as of late. He just keeps scoring goals. He's not going to score many easier than that. Hal was trying to chest the ball back to Gunther. Certainly a risky place to do that. There's also a risky place to try and control it. Just caught in between the two, I think. Try and control it or try. He's a USL championship champion. He is. Headed up by Brandon Fricky. Bawa. Decision there. That one well brought down by Dos Santos. And he'll decide to shoot it. Saved by Rankenberg. Anderson whips it in. Castro made some contact on it, and it's punched over by Nuhu. That's good work from Nuhu. Substitution brought to you by Sphinx. Corvino steps in as more of a midfielder, so perhaps we'll see some change in shape. Anderson swings it inside. It's headed outward. And Guiano over to Velasquez. Weaves left and right. Velasquez still with it. Finds Anderson. Anderson whips this one inside, and Rashid Nuhu is able to take that one with his chest.
Rodriguez receives that punt. Still Rodriguez. Misael Rodriguez! Right up against Gunther Rankenberg. Lexington's struggles continue, Mark. A late goal for Tormenta. Looks like oh, pull off a 2-1 victory on the road. It's full time in Knoxville, 1-0 win. Well, Knoxville moves them to within one point of forward Madison. It's a Knoxville team that when you look at them in comparison to some of these other teams at the top of the table, doing it a very different style. That rough little patch last month, but... Lewis, down the right-hand side, and that shot hits the side netting for Brandon Knapp. All we have to do now is await for Andrew Musash to decide it's over, and he has just done that. Union Omaha, hop Greenville, and take over the top spot in the table.